obviously a very disappointing um, day to day uh, for USC football. You know, to lose that game in our home opener here, um, especially how well our defense played today, uh, was obviously very disappointing. Um, you know, give credit to Washington State too. They played really hard in the game, much like they did last week on the road. When you go two weeks in a row like that, uh, give a lot of credit to their coaches and their players for playing hard. Um, we helped them out, obviously, in that game. Bad as things were uh, offensively throughout the game, uh, we can't turn the ball over. When we turn the ball over, not just we turn it over, we handed them seven points on the turnovers. They obviously became a big difference in the game. And after all the things that went wrong, we've got to execute on special teams also. You know, they make their field goal, we miss our two field goals in the three point game. So, um, very pleased with the defense. In the three parts of the game, we had three things we needed to do today. We did one of the three and we didn't do the other two. And that was all. There was a feeling during that game that our defense was playing really well, and, um, and Washington State had been very turnover pro prone, and uh, some efficiencies in the red zone and third downs from last year. And so the plan was, if we if we were able to hold up the way we were on defense early on, to make sure that we didn't screw up on offense. And uh, you know, it's easy to say, well, yeah, we, we should have thrown in those, but then all of a sudden we throw later in the game, you know, we throw uh, interception for a touchdown. Totally changes the game. So, uh, as boring as it was, uh, you know that wasn't the plan. Once we felt that we were going to be able to play that good of defense, on top of that, we were play really well on special teams too, and, and really not screwed up on offense. Hey, how, how are you not getting separation to your receivers? What, yeah. What's happening? That's a good question, man. Um, you know, unfortunately, uh, there was at times that last, you know, last week they threw in some drops more. I like there was some separation in that game, and today um, I didn't feel like there was much there. Um, those guys did, did a good job. They were banged up in their secondary. Their safeties tackled really well. Twenty is a really good player. Um, so I go back to work. The uh, state of the quarterback situation. I mean, where's the confidence with both guys and kind of picking up? You know, it was a very disappointing day today in the passing game, obviously. Um, you know, I've, I've never heard of stats like we had today. You know, the long pass play was eight yards throughout the day. So uh, that's very discouraging, and um, obviously that falls on me. So we'll get fixed. Do you cater your play calls because the defense was so good? I mean, do you and has that changed the way you've called it? Yeah, I think, um, you know, in these two matchups, in these two games, um, it doesn't mean we don't want to score. Don't get me wrong. We want to be efficient. We want to make the field goals in there. We want to finish off drives in the red zone and do better on third down. But also, um, you know, there, there's the game management and taking a bunch of risks because we see what happens when the ball goes in there. And now all of a sudden we're turning the ball over. Uh, you know, in a game that, you know, by the way, we were playing on defense. We should have, we should have won that game just by not turning the ball over. Considering the way things have been going on offense, is there a chance you might put some more thought into using Trey Madden and the Wildcat a little bit more? I thought Trey um, had a great game today. Really um, ran really hard over 30 carries in the game. Did a great job in the Wildcat on short yardage. Um, you know, so I think in a day where obviously he's not being highlighted enough, um, I thought the way the way Trey played um, was very similar to the way our defense. Did Washington State do anything defensively that surprised your quarterbacks or players? Yeah, they played, they played a bunch of drop eight um, in this game. They've not done that much last week, and um, they've not really done that in general. And uh, unfortunately, um, you know that when you drop eight, it's going to close up those lanes in the passing game, as you saw today. You know, with the separation issues that's not happening, and you'd like to think that you run the ball pretty efficiently um, versus drop eight. And we did at times, and um, then we then we shoot ourselves in the foot. It felt like we'd get some drives going at times, and then we just have a negative play. And, and when you're not getting explosive plays like that, you got to be consistent on every play. Um, you can't have any negative plays. Coach, can you recall a time in your career where offensively you were 
want to, you know, I guess mess it up, as you were saying earlier, is because, you know, your defense is so well. Like that, that, having that approach or that mindset? No, that, that's, um, you know, you don't want to be in that position. Uh, you know, that's just where we are right now. And I think we've seen that in two games now. You know, we, we don't we're not have the ability to sit back there and throw the ball 60 times. I don't think that that would be in our best interest um, as, as a football team. Lane, do you hear the boos and the chants, you know, fire Kiffin? And if you do, how do you react to that? Yeah, you can't worry about that. Um, you know, it is what it is. Um, I think I heard those before you even started the warm ups, actually. So uh, I'm getting used to it. Do you think this loss kind of hurt you down the line? I, I don't know all that stuff. I'm not, I'm not even thinking that way. You know, um, we want to warm right now. We got to go back and, and get ready to play at home next week. Lane, when you said that there were things that were on you as far as how this loss happened, what specifically do you regret and would you like to have changed? Well, first of all, when you don't play well, of course, you know, it falls on the head coach. Um, that, that is that's part of the job. Um, you know, I just, we obviously weren't prepared well enough on offense. And, um, you know, and we didn't make a few special teams plays when we needed to make them. Part of your reluctance um, to throw the ball, seemingly to throw the ball downfield, just not having confidence yet in that offensive line to hold off the rush. Well, I think that's been, you know, it was it was the game today. You know, just did not feel like it was in our best interest. And there were two different times that we did have them called, and they, they did something they had to audible out of them. Um, you know, where we were attacking downfield, but um, you know, having the quarterback get hit back there, the way the game was going, you know, they were turning the ball over. Really playing great defense. It just didn't seem in our best interest to put that quarterback back there, um, you know, and let him get hit and let the balls get tipped and turn the ball over. And unfortunately, uh, in the two minute situation there at the end of the first half, we do go to pass him in, in that situation there, um, and we give him seven points. You know, it's obviously it's a total difference in the game. What's the plan the whole time to go one half Cody, one half Max, though, with that dictated by the game? Unfortunately, we were really poor on offense today. And so, you know, we didn't make our two, two field goals. 